what's up guys and welcome back to learn with key and on this channel come with me as i go through life health finances church all of those good things so come on learn with me Okay, today guys, so I wanted to come on here really quick because your girl got some, man, knotless braids, oh wow, knotless braids. And I know what you're saying, um, Key, they are old. Everybody's had those, but not me. This is my first time and I am absolutely in love with these braids. I just love it. I'm sorry, you can see myself in the back. I try to have a little prop because I don't have like this, all this pretty background like some people do. Um, yeah, we're trying to move all of that. But yeah, so I got my hair done and I just wanted to come on and show you. Look at that. It just, it's so, oh, I just, I love it. It's so light. It's like giving me, Stella got her groove back braids. Yes, with her husband. Um, <laughs> with her husband but yeah i absolutely love these braids so i want to come on here and show you my braids this is my first time getting knotless braids shout out to my hairdresser who did it and i love her to death um she did an amazing job and it looks so good i just i haven't had braids like this small and to just fit so close to my scalp and i can you know pull them up and i can do so much with them but and i can wear them down and it's just it doesn't feel like it's a lot. So now I have 4C coarse thick hair. I have long hair too. My hair is like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's long. Especially in the back, it's long. So I'm gonna give you an update. I'm doing this now. So you can see, I got it done um, three days ago. Um, so, we're gonna see, I'll give you an update, like a two week update to show you what it looks like after maybe two weeks or maybe a month. See what it, what it looks like, like in a month. Because like I said, I have 4C thick coarse hair. So my only concern with these is when that new growth start coming in, you know, it's all pretty and nice looking now, but how's she gonna look in a month? But we're gonna find out. So I wanted to come on here and show you this. And the last time I had braids, and I did a video, um, my hair was itching so bad. And I use I had packs left over, so I used the same hair. And I was like, oh my god. The last time I did those, I had the box braids. And I'll put a picture up here from a video that I did. Um, my hair was itching so bad, like. I felt like I had fleas. I was like, ugh. It was just itching so bad. So I had got some um, Dugrow anti-itch oil. And I mean, it felt like nothing. It took a week for my hair to calm down. But with this, it's the same hair. I don't know if it's because of the tightness or what, but this is doing fine. I ha It hasn't been itching or nothing. So I'm thinking that it was because it was so tight that it was itching, but no, I haven't had no problems and I just love it. I love these braids, they're like so cute. And it's long, I ain't standing up there. It's long because my hair comes like to my bra strap. So it's like close to my butt. Um, but this is only a 20 inch hair. And for real, I, I could do shorter and be fine. But the girl is loving the lamp. I just keep doing this. Like, I just never had nothing like this before. So this is definitely different for me. I just hope my thick hair, once it's all going, because it's going to grow. And I want it to grow. I just don't want it to be all thick. And I'm going to get it redone. I'll get her to redo the perimeter of it. But, y'all, I just had to come in here and say I am late. Oh, the next thing I want her to do is put like the little crinkly pieces in it. I think that'll be cute too. The little crinkly pieces. I feel like I'm, I feel young again. Hey, <laughs> but no. So yeah, that is it. I haven't put nothing on it. 
I haven't put no oil or anything in, on it because I don't know I'm just scared because once I start using I use castor oil for some reason now somebody can let me know in the comments when I use castor oil because I use castor oil in my hair it flakes my hair up like I'm getting a new layer of skin and it just be thick and nasty and I just want this to be I'm trying to keep this fresh you know so I don't want that I don't know somebody let me know why castor oil does that but all I use is castor oil um I also use shea shea butter oil but I use some cheap shea butter oil I need to get some like a good kind of shea butter oil but yeah that's all that I use in my hair but yeah I'm, I'm loving this style and the other day I had it up in a bun but just just to be able to just do this is just like oh I love it now I keep my hair tied up most of the day because I work from home so I don't and I don't go anywhere so that's my life um <laughs> So my braids, it'll stay fresh until it starts growing, but yeah, I just love this. So I wanted to come on here and say, yes, if you haven't um, got knotless braids before, get them. I don't think I would go back to the other braids, the box braids, because this is where it's at. It's just like, it just feels good not having the knot there. It, oh, did not hurt. Like straight up after she finished, she put it in a high bun. Um, didn't hurt at all. And you know how when you first get your hair done, especially if you tend to head, I'm not tend to head, it hurts. Nope, not at all. This is like oh, it just feels so good. So if you haven't got it, um my sister in law, she has started getting them and I was like, I'm gonna try it. Then I was like, no, and I went with the the box ones and I was like no, I'm not going to try it. Then I kept seeing, I was like, those things, it looks really good. But the only reason why I didn't do it is because I was scared of my hair growing. But I'm in love. So, if you haven't got these, get them. And I will come back at um, in about a month and show you. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here, show you my new do. This is me. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video very short, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel I don't like to like Keep begging or sound like I'm begging. I feel like if you want to subscribe you will subscribe if you like You'll like it. So but it's, I guess it's just a thing that we all say Please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell send me comments all of that But yeah, if you like it hit subscribe if not, thank you for watching. All right. Oh, don't forget to be grateful, be thankful, and put God first. See ya.